Hello everyone, I'm Timothy McSwain, and welcome back to my Minecraft Modded Survival Series. I still need a name for this thing, dang it, dang it. Um, I've found my labels since the last time we were together. I had I, uh, it sounds weird the way I said that, never mind that. I pretend I just said, since the last time I recorded an episode. There. Um, I labeled this. Um, and I, by the way, I also I moved this over one, and I put this crafting station right next to it, even though there's still one over here. And the reason for that is, see, this is just a normal crafting station. When you put this next to a tool forge, it becomes, first of all, you can see the chest that's right next to it, which is really cool. And also, you can put your tool in the center here and modify it by putting stuff around the outside, which is pretty cool, I think. So, we can end up doing that maybe in a little bit. Um, I made... I don't remember if I made a shovel or a hatchet. One of them I made, had made last time, and I made a new one, uh, the other one off camera. I think it was the shovel that I made off camera. I put my existing shovel over there. Um, it's also reinforced just like this, it's, but it's not writable because it was only a shovel head and a staff. And this hatchet um, is not, uh, is doesn't have a reinforced one, which is unfortunate, but it still has the same durability. It looks like we need some better tools because um, th that copper tool does not actually work that well. <laughs> So, um, and I'll have this cast. This thing, by the way, has more, some more stuff in it now. Uh, there's, we have, we're running out of gold. We really need more. Um, up here at the top, there's resonant ender, because I melted down an ender pearl. Blood, because I, I might have accidentally fallen inside the, uh, the pit there and, and, uh, melted. Um, <laughs> And molten tin, which I found um, in my mine shaft, that I'll show you in a bit. That, um, this is my mine shaft, by the way, right here. But um, I used carpenter's ladders. I thought those were really cool. So I'll show you that in a minute. What I want to show you next is oh, and also this. This is really cool. It's a showcase, and I've got my carpenter's hammer in there, which we're going to use for a minute. Showcase is from the statues mod, which is a new mod that I added. I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter. If you don't, you should um, at TimMCLP, like this. Like that. And uh, I tweeted a picture of some statues that I put in my world. It's dark. Let's sleep off the night. And a brand new bed. Let's see what we can make this look like. Nothing? Oop. Okay, so that's how you get colors off a of bed. There we go. That's cool. Is it, so shift, that, okay, that turns it back to normal. So we've got a hammer, that, 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 and blank. Um, let's just do that, I guess. Sleep off the night. Okay, so, by the way, the hammer is also how I, uh, how I made the door look like this. You whack it with the hammer. Um... Okay, so I added some, uh, they're Steve's for some reason, but I added some statues. This was, they were all my friends from, uh, the Survive the Night server. Uh, this was, uh, Angie and Taylor over here doing, having a romantic walk on the beach. But now they're both Steve's, so it looked a little bit odd. But, um, let's see, you can, like, remove the sword, put it wherever you want. You can even rotate it if you wanted to for some reason, but that looks really strange, so we won't, we won't do that. Um, but you, like you can make it look like the sword is being held at a downward angle, more relaxed, I guess. So what I want to know is how you refresh these things so they. What? It ate up my pallet. Okay, so there's a possibility you can only use a pallet once. Then how did I do all three of these with one pallet? No. I used all I used one pallet on all three of these and it worked. And now Dang it, men. F3A. No luck. Well, maybe the statues are a bust then. We'll see. Um basically what you can do is you take this hammer here, and you can just make a statue out of dirt if you want. And you come wherever you want to put it, and you put two blocks tall and you shift right click on it. Now I can do Tim MC94 and it'll use my skin and you can just basically give it a, uh, a pose. 
Like, look over there. That is my house. Da, ta da. You can just randomize it. See, give it a random pose. And sculpt. Now, see, it looks like Steve, but. Um, I'm not quite sure how to change how I mean I know that when you paint it it changes into your skin but then when you log off and log back in again they change back to Steve so I'm not exactly sure how you go get around that it might be because the game's not checking online since I'm not on the server um, I'm not quite sure um, and I don't remember how to make a palette um, here okay so I need these stuff and I don't think I have any more lapis lazuli um, or cactus green for that matter so that sucks. Oh well. We'll leave that there for now, I guess. Um, how I found it fell in that thing before was I ended up just, I wanted to make it taller. So it now comes up to the surface here. And let me inch over so you can see. That stuff on top is tin, by the way. So this is so I can make it as tall as I want. Maybe make a smoke snack, Or I can just push mobs into here to get stuff. Um, you can push Endermen in there to get Resonant Ender. I don't think they'll teleport out. I'm not sure. They probably will, actually. Um, I don't know, but so what we're gonna do this episode? Spider, spoiler, spoiler. Cool. Spider died. I don't know where he was, but he died. Okay. So let's. Let's head into my mine shaft so I can show you where I've been mining some stuff. And there's also some stuff down there that looks really good, but I can't mine it because I just have a copper pick. So we're going to need to find a way to... Uh, we need to get some better stuff. Um, I think the biggest thing we need to do is find uh, diamond so that we can make... Uh, so that we can mine obsidian and go to the nether and get some cobalt there. And eventually some manilium. Um, which is... If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll know soon enough. Probably not this episode, but you'll know soon enough. So this is just a little area right here. There's, a, there's an ore right here, sapphire. I can't mine it with this. So, I need a better pick to do that. So, I put a torch by it, and we can look next time. I think there was some silver here. No, it was the next area down. Whenever I ran into ores, I just stopped and mined a bit. Here's topaz, which you also can't mine with my copper pick. I think this is where the silver was, yeah. Silver, which you also can't mine here for some reason. This is just not a very good pick. And this is all the way down at Bedrock. Um, and there's this, there's Essence Berries. I already plucked them, so which is why you can't, I can't pluck them again. Um, I'm going to, and they hurt you, by the way, if you bump into them. See, like that. Not very much, but they do. Um, so I'm going to try, I want to gather this. There, we can, good. I was worried we couldn't grab them. So there's a tin ore bush. Um, and by the way, this is Ruby, which also... I do not have the tools to grab. grab. The, the, the essence berries are right, right here. Yes, yes, yes those those good. good. These, these are these are essence berries right, right here. Concentrated essence, essence berries. I think they give XP. Yeah. See, I just say them to show you guys. Topaz, which we can't mine. So there's a bunch of stuff down here that we can't mine, including this cinnabar ore, which I believe is from uh, uh, Thumbcraft, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So you can't really mine that. So part of the uh, my idea was to try to expand this area down here. Oh, there's some redstone. I can always use redstone. Right? No, I can't mine that with this. Dang it! Just feels so limited. I think I want to get rid of this water down here, though. That's one thing. Um. Which would take a while because there's a lot of it. Um, but you know, we could just, we could always just start and see if we can get somewhere. But or I could just cover up the stuff down here on the bottom. But I don't really want to do that. So I want to keep one block of dirt before we mine away. So. There's that. Basically, um, I'm just trying to use this to hopefully get some stuff. And this is the level where you can find diamonds. 
Um, if I can't mine redstone with this pick, I doubt I can mine red, uh, diamond with it, but if we can at least find it, then I can go make an iron pick. Um, let's see. And the, the bedrock will obviously get in the way. I have a bedrock mine on my, uh, survive, on the Survive the Night server, and, um, which I have big plans for soon. You'll see an episode of that soon on my channel, hopefully. More redstone. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Dang it. All I want to do is just mine and find some goodies. Some useful ores. But that's not going to happen if I keep running into lava. This is the kind of stuff that's really boring to see on video. So I won't do too much of it. Don't worry. We are really close to lava. Gold. Can we mine that? Nope. So I definitely, I think, need to just have an iron pick on standby because this is kind of ridiculous. Um, let's just put that there. No, let's put that here since we can't mine away bedrock anyway. Uh, okay, we have 55 cobblestone. Maybe this is the time to do this. That's not my dogs barking out there. Because I'm going to have to go get them. They want to sit outside in the sun. And I don't really want them to. But they're dogs. So they're whatever. Um, we have to. Uh, we had to get. Uh, we have to lock up our dog door. Um, because the cat discovered how to get out it. And she's an indoor cat. Um, so. Oops. I'll leave that uncovered. Oh, uh, not that one. That one actually doesn't matter. I'll leave that little piece uncovered. Or actually, I'll just do this. So, there's no water there anymore. Um... And the reason I'm fine with doing that is because I do plan on eventually taking this down all level anyway. Um, oh, come on. The Copernicus is about to break, I think. But that's okay, because it kind of sucks. So, we'll just let it break. Actually, I think our, um, I think this the mod, one of the mods, Inventory Tweaks, I think, is going to automatically swap it out right before it breaks. Trying to protect our tools, but... We don't really need it with this one, so... Um, I'm guessing this is probably pretty boring, so I'm, I apologize for that. Um, oh, I'm going to need one more carpenter's ladder. Um, what I'll do is I'll cut away really quick, and I'll get, be right back with you guys. Alright, I'm cutting back even though I'm still doing this because I think Copernicus is about to break. It moved out of my inventory, I mean out of my hotbar. And I moved it back, which probably means it's about to break any second now. What was that? Oh my gosh, it actually leaves it in your inventory so you can, like, fix it? That's bizarre. I didn't know that. But I don't want it anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> let's head back up here. I'm making up a random beat. I can't sing anything that I know, so because that'll get a copyright problem potentially. So, and knowing me, it probably would. So, just make up a random beat that probably sounds completely disgusting. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so let's just make something really simple here. We're gonna make a new pick. 
Um, but what we're going to do is, for the pickaxe head, um, we are just going to use iron, because we know that that makes a very good pickaxe head. Okay. Next we need a tool rod, and we'll make the tool rod out of, uh, is it bronze, I think it was it worked? Yeah. By the way, we can put the Copernicus in here because we don't want it anymore. Um, and then the paper binding. So we'll go uh, pickaxe, iron, head, paper binding, bronze tool rod. It's nothing too fancy, and we'll call this... What do we want to call it? Iron Maiden. There. <laughs> I'm so bad at this kind of thing. Um, at naming things. Okay, so this this is not gonna be like that. Um, um, after all, it's just an iron pickaxe. But hopefully, but it should be more dur. Is it more durable with a bronze? It's reinforced. I think that means that it's better. But who really knows? I mean, I'm sure plenty of people do, but I don't. Let's see if we can finally mine this stuff. Yes. Tin. So it's basically an iron pickaxe. The durability is just different, and it has an addable trait that we can add on later. Um, so this is not going to be our like end game pickaxe, obviously, but... Hopefully it'll last for a while and we'll repair it if we need to. Because it seems pretty useful. Okay, sapphire. Pretty cool. I don't know what we'll use those for, but I'm sure there's something. Um, we can mine this silver. I haven't mined any silver yet. Um, is it like more durable than gold, maybe? Who knows? Um, again, probably a bunch of people who mess with Tinker's Construct. Whatever. Um, this is the bottom. Let's get rid of this sandstone block. These ladders work. Yeah, you can jump. Okay. Good. So let's finish getting rid of this. Oh, looks like I left some water under there. My bad. Don't want to mine with the silver. Actually, we don't even need this area back there, do we? This episode is, is I want to make it interesting, so we'll do something else. Um, I'm just doing that for right now. Let's see, let's gather this ruby. More iron. That's still, obviously, still useful for something, so we'll get it. There seems to be a lot of tools that need iron in this mod pack, so... Um, redstone we can use for later. Of course you can't make tools out of redstone, but you can use redstone to upgrade tools. So, maybe that's what we'll use it for. Oh, shoot. That burned up all my redstone, didn't it? Well, all the part in that patch, anyway. Ah, shoot. want to look up here. There's not even anything there. Uh, my luck. I'm gonna like break into lava anytime now. So let's mine over this direction. I'll have to do more of this off camera because like I said, you're not going to want to see this, I'm sure. 
I forgot in this version of the game you can actually use those uh those um redstone blocks to glitch through and see what's on the other side of a block. So maybe we'll do that to try to find some stuff because it's just ridiculous. I didn't I know some people that are playing with mod packs use a mod that um, makes ores really easy to find, but I just use default ore generation. Um I did have something else I wanted to do today, by the way. So we we will do that. Just um, what's behind there? It could just be here, just out of coincidence, like it appears it's going to be, but whenever there's like a patch of dirt, I sometimes wonder, does that mean there's something hidden behind it? Like a cave or something. And in, in when I was caving with Angie on the Survive the Night server, I don't know if it ended up in the footage or not, but we actually found more of a cave area by uh, using, by digging through dirt like this. So, of course this is probably going to break my shovel, but... I need to find a monster spawner so I can, with some mossy cobblestone so I can make an auto repair on these tools. But I don't want to do it with such simple early game tools. So, it doesn't really matter anyway. Well, like seriously, it looks like this would lead somewhere. It's like a treasure hunt. There's got to be something behind some of this dirt, right? Besides just coal. I mean, we're at bedrock level. Come on, more ores. Come on. There are so many ores in this game with this mod pack, so why not help us find some? Dirt. <laughs> oh well, um, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so if we turn all these into blocks of redstone, we can put them over in this chest. We can drop off that sandstone too. I don't, um, I don't need it. Is it here? Yeah. Um, buttered bread? What? Uh, ruby, sapphire. And we should plant down these essence berries. Um, I'm going to finish off making these into coal blocks and blah, 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 blah. Get rid of a bunch of this. Oops, and also dirt, apparently. Uh, dogs are barking. Am I going to have to go get them? Gosh dang it. Um, let's put down these essen this essence berry. Uh, let's put it outside. Eventually, we are going to move out of this house, by the way. Um, it's a very early on house. Oh, and these have to regrow now. Well, that sucks. These have to grow on grass, don't they? No, they have to grow in the dark. But essence berries can grow outside, so we'll leave those out there. Um, what I'm going to do the rest of the rest of this is going to the furnace. Um, let's see. Silver, I know, can go in here. Same with iron. I'm sure gold can. Oh yeah, obviously again. Can cinnabar ore go in there? And I know tin can. Cinnabar will not smelt down. I don't know what you do to smelt it down, but it wouldn't smelt. So let's see. I also have a slag type, which I have no use for. <laughs> um, I need to fix my storage situation soon. Which, by the way, I know exactly how I'm going to do it with my storage. I just don't have the tools yet, I don't think. It's uh, from Project Red. Um, it's... Data card router utility? It's these uh, pipes here. Um, they can be really cool. What's this? Peridot pickaxe? Ruby pickaxe? I forgot you can make stuff out of this kind of stuff. But you can't use it with Tinker's Construct, I don't think. 
So plus five, uh, 500 durability, 500 durability. Maybe, how many rubies did we get? Did we get three? No, of course we just got two. But we might be able to make a ruby or sapphire sword, right? Ruby sword plus eight attack damage, sapphire is plus seven. So let's use ruby. It might be a waste, but let's just try it out. So this is plus six, this is plus eight. So it's better than an iron sword and has more durability than one. So that's cool. We'll use that once our iron sword runs out, I guess. Um, what I wanted to do now is go down to this uh, thumbcraft chest down here and grab our all the great wood we've collected. And we're going to run over to the magical forest. I need to go check on my dogs because they are barking outside and I don't want a problem with that. And, um, and I'm also going to run to the magic forest here, which I know is just right here, but I need to scout out a good area first anyway. So I'll be right back with you guys. Welcome back guys. So um, I found this little area here. It doesn't need to be very big, so we're just going to use this. And if we need to expand it, we always can, so. I keep hearing spiders underground too. I don't like that. But um, I hear them dying underground. Especially near my house. So I wonder if there's like lava down there somewhere that I don't, that I, uh, that spiders are spawning near. Maybe like a spider spawner down there, which would be really cool to find. But um, I just need to find a spawner of some sort so I can use... Uh, Use that. I chopped down a tree also. It was really cool because all the pieces of it just came flying all over the place and my shovel's about to break. Um, oops, what did I do that for? It flew, flung itself out of my inventory. Um, let's just use it, use it the rest of this. So basically, copper. there's some components that might be good with copper, but um, for the most part, I'm guessing it's pretty sucky. It must be used for something, I'm sure, but... If you like, watch this, I love this, even for such a simple little oak tree. It takes a while to chop down, especially with copper, which is why I need to do just go back and make an iron one. But, when you finally break it... Look at all that stuff just from raining down. Saplings, apples and logs just like crazy it's awesome I love it okay so this area is not fully the shape we want it to be yet but it's pretty good actually what I'm gonna do here is make a crafting table I don't know which mod it is but there was a mod that was um, from attack of the B team that I really liked um, it uh, changes the crafting table so it's a different color depending on what kind of wood you made it out of and I really liked that um, but oh well, we'll do fine with what we have. Um, let's just make a stone shovel for right now. Because all I really want to do right now is, well first of all, you're <laughs> I got a lily pad from a little lake that I found in. A tiny little pond. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'll hold on to it anyway. So... This area... Do this. Let's go up here. Let's use oak. What is this? No, it's dirt. Okay. Let's make some chests. Just, just temporarily to chuck all this crap in. Clay is useful. 
So I'm going to hold on to that. Why did this stuff get moved? That was there, that was there, no, that was like this. It keeps trying to reorganize everything. I don't know. I must be hitting a key by accident. Um... Picking up more junk, I'm gonna have to throw it away again. We should make a farm eventually too, that'd be really cool. I was thinking it'd be cool to do like, I just don't want to be like a consumer copycat for it, but like I was thinking of like how much I love Farlands or Bust by Kurt J. Mack. And I was thinking it'd be cool to do something like that with Biomes of Plenty. But I don't want to be a copycat. So let me know what you guys think of that idea, I guess. Um, I don't want to run back to the house. We can just try to work through the night, I guess. Um, or actually, how long have I been recording for? 31 minutes. So that'll actually have to be the end. Wow, not the most productive episode. I apologize for that. Um, maybe we can make it productive at the very end here by... <coughs> You walk in my way, pig, you're gonna get sliced. I need to make some more monster jerky, so I need to attack some zombies. Anyway, what this is gonna be is my thalmcraft base. I'm just gonna make a little, uh, eventually I'm gonna have an arcane infusion area there. Um, it'll be really cool and stuff. <laughs> By the way, once you're a magician, you, those things won't disappear on you anymore. Magician. Thumbcraft. Or, once you're a thumbcrafter. Um, because I saw someone who was advanced in the mod look at these things and they don't disappear. And I'm guessing it's not just a glitch. I'm guessing it's doing that on purpose. Alex, that's my other dog, Alex. Now he's barking out there too. My sister's dog, actually. I don't own a dog. I have a cat, but um, my sister has a dog and a cat. My mom has a dog named Daisy, who's really old and kind of grumpy. I think I might have gone over that before, but just little personal details for you in case you didn't, in case you wanted to know but didn't. Um, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to my little clearing right here. I'm going to light it up a bit. Hello spider. Oh great, more zombies. This could be the end, folks. I don't get the deal with that. Sometimes the baby zombies will just run away for a bit and then come back. It's a mod pack thing, because it never did that anymore. Really, 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 really. Good grief. Okay, well, there you have it. Why can't they pick that up? There we go. Uh oh. Oh no! It's one of those flying wisp things. I really should kill it because the loot you get from it is really good for Thumbcraft stuff. And they're not very common. I'm probably going to get whooped by its ass, but. Yeah, stop zapping me, please. No, retreat, retreat. What did I tell you, right? Dangerous. Oh, 
Gosh dang it. I knew I should have stopped recording. <laughs> no, I want to kill that wisp thing. There it is. Come back. You're already at half health anyway. Ah! Nice hat, bro. I'll see you guys next time.